Hi, I'm Chris Leonard with Plano. This is iCast 2013, and I'm going to tell you about the new Freebill F series of rainware available spring of 2014. Right behind me here, you can see we've got our new Freebill F4. We also have an F3 and an F2, and I'd like to talk you through some of the features to give you an idea of what the differences are between the suits and help you identify which one's going to be the best for the way you like to fish. We'll start here. This is the Freybill F2. The F2 suit, the F3 suit, and the F4 suit all share some very common, we'll call hallmark features of our apparel. Those hallmark features are going to be the ergonomic design, and again, what we're talking about there is really the study of how the body moves, where it bends, and taking that understanding and incorporating it into the design of the suit. So you're going to see significant curvature in the arms, you're going to see well-designed and tailored hoods, you're going to see padding in the knees, curvature in the knees, and the angles at which your hands approach the prockets should all be at almost exactly a 90 degree angle. You're going to see that no matter which suit you get from Freybill. You're also going to get excellent hydrostatic resistance and they look pretty good. So let's talk about the F2 here. This is our F2 suit. You can see in the sleeves we've got that significant pre-curvature. We've got pockets covered with flaps to keep them dry. And on the inside we've got a nice lightweight mesh lining to be sure that that convective heat transfer can take place and you stay comfortable whether it's warm out or it's cold out. The hood has an excellent fit. It's got a built-in sun visor here adjustable in two different ways and adjustable at the back. The hem of the jacket is also adjustable so you can tighten up around here and be sure you're not getting any of the wind or water coming up between the jacket and the bib. On the inside we take a look at the F2 bib. First of all I'll point out the cam buckle design. The cam buckle design reduces the plastic hardware necessary to uh, adjust the length probably familiar with the standard male and female buckle. Well, this is really a, a newer technology. It's much more lightweight. It's very durable and we've had great success with it. Here's how it works. Full elastic two inch shoulder strap. The cam opens up. You set the tension that you'd like and you lock the cam into place. When you pull on it, the harder you pull the tighter it gets. It's a very strong yet compact design and adds a lot to the comfort of the bib. As we scan down here, we can see we've got nice cargo pockets and we've got curved knees with 500 denier nylon and internal padding. I'll tell you, once you've used a pair of bibs that have some padding in the knees, it makes it so much more comfortable. Um, it'll be instantly something that you look for in every suit that you buy moving forward. We've got side leg zippers that come up to just about the knee height, which makes it a lot easier to get the bibs on and off. And one thing that I think is really important, obviously, is staying dry and waterproof. So I want to talk a little bit about a feature in the front of the bibs here. Behind all our main zippers, we have a large gusset. Water can flow through the zipper, and it can come down and flow out the bottom here. What we found is that when you're sitting and fishing, little pockets will form just below the belt line, and water will collect there. And if you don't have something behind the zipper, eventually that water is going to come in and you're going to get wet. The other neat thing about this is because we're using the cam locks and we can have a full elastic bib strap, this allows you to pull this down and make a quick pit stop without having to go through a lot of uh, unzipping and adjusting. That's more time on the water, that's more comfort. I mentioned when we started that we have three new suits in the F-Series, the F2, the F3, and the F4. Let's take a look at the F3. This is the new Freybill F3. As you go from F2, F3, and F4, there's a number of upgraded features in each suit. So in the F3, you're going to get all the great features that you're getting in the F2, the ergonomics, the waterproof performance, but now we've got a couple enhancements. First of all, we're going to a three-layer construction. Essentially, a three-layer is the outer shell layer, the second layer is your waterproof breathable membrane, and your third layer is the lining that's laminated to the other two layers. On the F2, that lining was loose. You saw that mesh. On the F3, that lining is removed, and we've moved the technology up to go to the three-layer construction. Also on the F3 suit, we've got our new cuff design. Cuff design keeps it very waterproof. Got a soft, comfortable, waterproof material here. So if you want it loose and you want a little bit of uh, air moving through there, you have that option. 
When it starts raining hard and you're doing a lot of casting, your wrist is above your elbow. And if you don't have a good way to tighten up at the wrist, that water is going to flow down inside your sleeve. It's going to get wet and uncomfortable. So what we've done here is we set a strap that goes all the way around and allows you to tighten up and set the tension that you want to make it comfortable and waterproof. It's a great new feature on the F3 and F4 suits. Of course, we've got the great adjustability in the hood, just like we do on the F2. We've got the same cam lock style bubble or buckles, the same gusset system here, articulation in the knees, 500 denier nylon plus the padding, and the waterproof performance of this suit goes up from 10,000 millimeters on the F2 to 15,000 millimeters on the F3. Now, a lot of people aren't familiar with pressure in terms of millimeters, so I'll translate that to pounds per square inch. 10,000 millimeters on our F2 translates to 14 pounds per square inch, and that's 14 pounds per square inch of pressure required to push water through the fabric. When we move up to the F3, we're at 15,000 millimeters, which translates to about 21 pounds per square inch, and on the F4, we bump up to 20,000 millimeters, or about 28 PSI. Of course, as we move to the three-layer construction, you're going to see the water-resistant zippers throughout the entire suit. We've got enhanced reflective material, and we've got the same low-rise bib design that we have on the F2. So the bib isn't coming all the way up the chest. It's a little bit more comfortable unless you really need the protection of the higher bib. Let's move on to the F4. Well, this is the Fraybill F4. This is the best uh, rain suit that we're producing right now, and we like to think it's one of the best suits in the industry, and I'll show you why. Starting at the top, lots of adjustability in the hood. This suit has a unique design that allows air to flow through. What we want to do is accommodate the angler that's got the new high performance boats that are going 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. There's lots of wind there and unless you're going to control that wind you're going to get a lot of flapping, the suit's going to fill up with air and it's uncomfortable. So what we've done is figure out a way to let the air that comes in around the face escape the hood at the back. If you come on over here I'll show you these vents that we've got in here. Around the back side of the hood there's a flap here and this flap covers up large vents that allow the air that blows into the hood to blow right out of the back of the hood and not puff up the suit and not allow a lot of flapping. It's a Fraybill unique feature and something I think you'll really appreciate if you're out there in high wind conditions, you're out there in a high performance boat, or if you're using it in warmer conditions and you just like a little bit more airflow while you're wearing your hood. Another cool thing is I take the hood off here you can see that on the F4, the hood and the collar are separate pieces. On the F3 and the F2, the collar becomes the hood. So another enhanced feature as we move to the F4. This collar, is t you can tighten it at the back. And what that does is seal up so the wind isn't blowing down inside of the suit and puffing it up. So we're really taking a look at controlling the flow of air on something at this performance level. As you come around the front here, you can see that we're using that same three-layer construction that you get when you go to the F3. We're using the same watertight sealing system on the cuffs. But on the F4, you also get a few features you don't get on the other suits. For example, this is our, our glasses care package. For guys that wear glasses like me, glasses fog up, they get rain on them. A lot of guys are wearing sunglasses out there. So we've got a nice microfiber towel. Get your glasses cleaned off quickly put it back into the mesh bag and it, it dries out very quickly. Over here we've got a lycra pocket so you can get your glasses in there and store them while you're walking around. It's a scratch proof material, it's very stretchy so it'll allow for small glasses up to very large size glasses and we've positioned this pocket nice and high in the jacket so it's not down around the hips where things tend to get crushed and squished. On the interior of the other side of the new Fraybill F4 you see we've got an electronics pocket here. Put your phone, your MP, MP3 player, whatever it is that you've got inside this pocket, completely waterproof and sealed. And we've got a nice port here for the speaker wires to come out for your earphones. As we go to the bib on the F4, 
there is a number of significant improvements. First of all, the F4 bib is what we call a high-rise bib. Now, this is a pretty tall mannequin, but when I wear this bib, it comes up just above my chest. So you get a lot of protection from the elements. Moving down, you can see we've got some nice pockets here. And on the sides is a feature that requires some explanation. On the side here, you can see we've got a stretchy strap that allows you to open or close the amount of space inside the bib. And this gives you a number of great advantages. First of all, in the morning when it's cool out, maybe you've got a fleece or a sweatshirt on and you want a little bit more room inside here. You can easily open it up and accommodate for that. As it gets warmer, you might lose that mid-layer. You just got a t-shirt on and you want to tighten up a little bit more. Very, very adjustable and very, very comfortable. Also, We've taken a, a, a little bit of an idea from the frame pack world. If you've fished in bibs for a long time, you'll notice that you tend to get a bulk fatigue in your shoulders, a soreness, a, a tiredness from the weight of the bibs hanging on you. With this design, we've positioned the adjusters just above the hips, such that when you tighten it up, it takes the weight of the bibs and puts it on the hips. So now you're sharing that weight between the hips and the shoulder straps same idea as you do on a, on a frame pack. What that does is really reduce the bulk fatigue associated with long days out fishing and wearing bibs. Great feature, one of the features that we get the most positive comments on of everything in these suits. Moving down from the adjustable waist system, you can see we've got another zipper here, but this is not a pocket. This is an access zipper. What this allows you to do is get inside of the bib and get into the pocket or whatever it is that you're wearing underneath the bibs. Also, if you're tucking something in like a sweatshirt or a fleece, you can unzip these and it's very easy to adjust it so it's not bunched up or folded underneath, underneath your bib. The F3 and the F4 have the same cargo pocket design, which we think is really cool. And I'll show you why. The top of the pocket has a flap. You can see this flap is sewn up here. So when I open the pocket, it's obviously easily accessible, it's deep, it's a huge oversized pocket. But when we go to close it, this flap here folds down, making a nice watertight seal. So that's gonna keep your valuables dry. And with the full strip of the Velcro there, obviously the, obviously the, uh, the top stays closed too. Coming down again, articulated padded knees, 500 denier nylon. On the F4, we're also adding that 500 denier nylon around the cuffs and between the legs just for an enhanced uh, ab abrasion resistance. Of course, we've got the 3M reflective material down there, full set of water resistant zippers, and we think actually really new, uh, pardon me, a really cool new color set in the F4, which includes a very deep, deep blue up at the top in the shoulders and the tops of the sleeves and then this new green design here. Anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of really angling specific features on these suits. It's been a lot of thought and testing that went into this. And if you're out there in the elements and you want to focus on fishing and not focus on being cold or wet, take a good hard look at the Frabel F-Series. I'm Chris with Plano. This is ICAST 2013 and I appreciate you listening.